Hi guys, today in this episode we will play with water and electricity and electronic and radio waves. So uh, I almost finished with this huge project which is on my neck almost uh, three, four years. Yeah, I still have a lot to, lot to do because these uh, local electrician guys are, believe me, <laughs> you don't want to hear them. So sorry, I'm just checking now how much water I have. Yeah, it's, it's almost full. You can see this ball. So um, I have here an issue. We have here a huge, huge, huge garden. It's almost 16,000 square meter. And it has a lot of different uh, type of flowers and trees and grass and roses and everything. And, and let's say all this garden is in the Mediterranean zone of Europe. So I have to be really, really, really smart with the water, okay? And with the water management. So that's why we are installing something really interesting uh, system. <laughs> So maybe you can see, but for example, this zone here has these lion teeth uh, flowers. So those guys need a special irrigation. <laughs> these guys, for example, uh, they need a completely different amount of water and completely different timing. And they're waking up and they do a flowering in a completely different uh, period in a year. So maybe you can see, but no, those guys are absolutely fresh. So they are really small at the moment, but they will grow really big. And maybe you can see, but here we did this uh, uh, dripping, uh, micro dripping system all over. But this is not only one zone, it's two zones. Yeah? So we divided the top part and the bottom part. And uh, the irrigation point is somewhere there. So the, all the valves and the goodies is over there. <laughs> These guys, again, are different, okay? But they almost uh, require the same amount of water and timing. Uh, but of course, those guys need a different amount of water, okay? But on the same timing and in the same period than those ones. <laughs> Maybe you know those things, yeah? They are absolutely... <laughs> They don't need nothing. You don't need to clean them, you don't need to cut them, you don't need to do with them nothing. But the garden, as you can see here, but they planted completely different flowers in some spots. So here we have again a different uh, problem with the irrigation. Now, this one, this zone here, it's a absolutely a mix. Uh, they're trying to put together uh, flowers and green stuffs, which are almost on the same requirements on the irrigation and on, on the sun and uh, how much uh, uh, shadow they need. And uh, the land is huge, yeah? This is around like 400 meters, if I remember good, yeah? We cannot do the irrigation with, with the wire system because uh, nobody wants to dig uh, kilometer long uh, trenches on the side of hills and <laughs> between rocks and between uh, really big uh, trunks and roots. It's, it's almost impossible, okay? So there is no option to send 24 volt uh, uh, signal on hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of meters in different direction. So. This is uh, why we choose the, this uh, wireless option. So here I already dropped one uh, radio receiver uh, from the hunter. So let me show you what is this actually. So this one is made by a hunter because at the moment nobody uh, is doing a professional irrigation system on an affordable price, which are uh, based on a Lura. Uh, radio communication. So let me show you what's going on here. The uh, valve controller and the batteries that are living here inside in this uh, uh, compartment. I can show you. This is a very professional built thingy. It has two uh, uh, rubber ring, O-ring, 
to seal the, the battery compartment. Yeah, this is a, uh, a LoRa-based, uh, but industrial solution, very interesting, yeah? <laughs> uh, to control uh, latching relays. Yeah? So a uh, couple of uh, years ago, we were already trying to, to make such a system, but turns out it's, um, you, you can make it your own uh, uh, with uh, some cheap uh, Chinese LoRa modules, no problem, but the, the intelligence behind the irrigation is not so easy to do. And you have to get uh, the, the 9 volt uh, version from this latching device. Of course, a hunter has uh, their own uh, irrigation valve, they have uh, their own uh, latching relay. So you can get uh, the whole system, including the box, yeah, uh, from the hunter on a very, very reasonable price. And you just have to drill a 38 uh, millimeter hole on your lid, and then you just have to uh, screw in this uh, receiver. Now, um, uh, before you ask uh, in a comment section how long this can communicate with the uh, central, the farthest uh, point on, on my land is about uh, 600, 700 meters away uh, from the installation point. <laughs> And the system shows the 68 or 65 uh, percent of uh, radio signals. So in this case, you don't have to do the, the digging, trenching, put the cable in the ground, because let me show you what can happen with your cables after, let's say, five or uh, seven years. Yeah? You see this thing is? So the, the roots, they are rootless, okay? <laughs> so the roots are entering into uh, the, the piping of your uh, cabling, yeah? And then you cannot pull the cable, you cannot replace the cable, you cannot do nothing with your cable and forgot it. So to replace this cable, which uh, originally came from the top of the hill, it's about uh, a week of job, yeah? And you also have to go through things <laughs> what you built on it. Most of the people, if you're buying a, a, a land from somebody uh, for your house project, of course, uh, the previous owners, who knows <laughs> who did what, yeah? So, and if you believe or not, but those things are not so expensive. This one, which has only one output, yeah? Uh, it's about $280, something like this, $270. But there is a version which has a double output and it also has a version which has four outputs. No, <laughs> when you arrive to the four output module and somehow you can manage, I don't know, four or uh, two irrigation uh, zone into one box, then everything is flipping. So the, the two channel is about $300, Twenty dollarish or something like this, and the four channel is uh, less than four hundred. So then you arrive to the point when hundred dollar per valve to control it centrally. Yeah, so it's you you cannot compare with uh, with cabling and tubing and and digging and the organized back your soil and the, the concrete works what you have to do after uh, you know i just dropped the box on a wall and i just connected the, the electric cable and i still have uh, a little bit of work here what i have to do yeah this property is really uh, close to the sea, so we have here sometimes a uh, really heavy storm, so with a lot of lightning, but we have a, a lightning protection on the house, yeah, of course. Uh, maybe this one is hit already. Yeah, it's red, so me, I have to replace this uh, module. If you believe or not, but all of your irrigation system, because it's a lot of water in the ground and it's centralized in one point or, or somewhere, and then your irrigation system actually, it's, a, it's like a collector uh, for the lightning catastrophe. So if, let's say, the lightning is hitting this pergola, for example, in my case, and it's finding the way 
in the irrigation tubes in the, in the water because the water of course is running in plastic tubes but the water inside of course it's a conductor so then the lighting will come uh, in the tube and we'll come here to the valve box yeah <laughs> and then go straight into your uh, irrigation system controller actually you don't want your irrigation system to drive uh, the lighting uh, into your house across the, the normal electric cable. So that's why it's uh, super, super, super important to connect here other additional grounding point. By the way, this is the ACC 800 plastic version from, uh, from the Hunter. So with the Hydrovice software, you can make a lot of uh, magic. Of course, we will arrive to this point uh, sooner or later in uh, maybe in the next episode to enable the ACC 800 as your uh, wireless uh, uh, valve controller, you have to purchase this uh, wireless output module. There is some pinny. You have to open this blue lever and then stick it into the hole. Just push in and then close this lever. So, I don't know what is this. Uh, but uh, basically when you purchase the wireless output module for your uh, controller, they also give you the, uh, the saw drill bit, you know, to drill a hole onto your wall box. So thank you very much, Hunter. I'm really happy about this one. In special cases like uh, my one, you also can install here, you can see this, so you also can install here a, a, a wire and antenna expansion unit which can go up to your uh, roof but unfortunately they have only three meter long uh, antennas maybe maybe it will be enough anyway you have to order the specific uh, radio frequency you know LoRa is not everywhere that's uh, running on the same frequency for example in the uh, United States the FCC allowed a completely different frequency uh, range than here in Europe so here in Europe you have to order the international version which is the E and uh, all of your uh, wireless uh, valve controller it also has to run on the same inter international frequency band which here in Europe this is the typical 433 megahertz I think I'm done here with the installation so I just have to close this box uh, back where is the lid okay we are good and of course you can lock it. Okay, so today I think I'm done here. I just have to finish this uh, electric work and check the uh, the voltages and check, uh, make sure nothing is leaking. I also have to do a uh, water test. So I will split some water with my garden house here and I will check the box, the connections and all the tubes. Make sure we have no uh, water leakage into the system. I bought a different brand of uh, 9 volt batteries yeah and i got also energizer max and i also bought some really cheap but alkaline uh, 9 volt batteries from the ocean or careful yeah it's a careful it's not ocean sorry i just want to see if if really you need to buy expensive uh, uh, alkaline batteries or not into this uh, uh, wireless uh, controller. So the um, the hunter guys they told me make sure it's not this uh, stupid carbon really old uh, fashion batteries. Make sure it's alkaline. But anyway, the system will uh, tell us what's going on with the battery levels. So uh, you don't have to worry about dead batteries because the system will uh, uh, warn you. Uh, so I just want to see which one. Uh, we stay longer yeah, in this uh, operation. So let me finish the uh, electric connection over there. Ah, a very important uh, thing in the box. There is uh, four cable instead of three. So one cable, which is um, the brown, is for the European installation, which is uh, 230 volts, yeah? But the black one 
is for 120 volt, but fortunately, a hunter did a good job, so they labeled each of the cable which voltage uh, is using. So make sure you read it and you connect your cable to the desired voltage, regardless the color, yeah? Yeah, Germans uh, can use only VHA. <laughs> Screw like that. Nah. Uh, the moment of the truth. Mm. Flip. Ta da! Yay, we are live! I think Hunter has to update uh, the <laughs> gadgets because this one can still run only on 2.4 GHz Wi Fi, which is. Well, to be honest, it's not our latest technology. I think we are okay. We will connect the system to the Hydrawise, we will install the app on my phone, and uh, we will start to install all this uh, uh, wireless uh, Valve Link uh, receivers. For example, uh, this is the, the wireless uh, transmitter for the flow uh, water flow sensor, what I have to install into the pump house. This is the two station wireless uh, output module. Where is the four? So the VVL 400E has four output, yeah? So you can control with this one for uh, latching uh, um, valve. Then I have here a rain sensor, probably uh, by some ultrasonic uh, something something on the top, we will see later on in the next episode. Then this one is this uh, expansion, extension antenna for the wireless uh, transmitter and also for the Wi-Fi. So uh, we are done with the basic uh, installation of this uh, irrigation controller. Today we are done and tomorrow I will start to install all these uh, wireless uh, Wolf link uh, receivers with this uh, beautiful uh, <laughs> gift uh, from Hunter into my uh, Wolf irrigation uh, boxes. So um, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time. Bye.